Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel and um, an interesting report that leaked as it was not supposed to be um, you know, received by anyone. It was an internal um, report that was done among employees of Microsoft. Well, Microsoft used to be that place like Apple, like Google, that everybody wanted to go and work. And it is interesting because one of the things we talk about a lot is how dysfunctional a lot of what's happening is. A lot of, you know, we look at Windows in our case, and we wonder what is happening with the decision and who's taking the decisions because there's often all sorts of things that aren't there, aren't what we want. We kind of realize that Microsoft doesn't really listen much to its users. Uh, except when there's a very high percentage of complaint. And even then, it takes time before they move on. Um, well, employees say that one of the biggest problems is that there is no lead direction. It seems like the company is just lost and not really going anywhere. Um, innovation isn't the thing. It's just trying to... Just trying to do your work is apparently a hard thing because every group just doesn't talk well with each other. And, and it's actually uh, becoming a place where a lot of people don't want to work anymore. They're saying that the leadership, and you know, we talk about Satya Nadella, which is the, uh, the CEO, and the company has definitely changed and he's definitely been able to, you know, bring in the clouds and, and, and have revenue from the cloud rise really fast and make, you know, Microsoft a, a company that was pretty stagnant uh, as, you know, a, a value. And, and suddenly it started picking up steam and picking up, making more money. But still, that's forgetting about one thing. One thing that still brings in a lot of money and it's Windows. It's as if Windows was forgotten at some point, at some time, and and they just put it aside, not realizing that this is still a huge money maker. And the problem is, is now it seems like more than ever, Microsoft is annoying its users, and it's annoying its base of business by not listening. And there's been a lot of errors and a lot of of things that weren't right happening in there. And you start thinking about that and thinking about all the people that must be working in there. And imagine the, the Windows team. How many people must just go to work every week and look at what's happening and what's going to come next and think, what the hell is this company going to? And I think it's maybe a good idea for Microsoft and for a lot of people to in Microsoft to start refocusing and thinking, when your employees and an internal survey are saying that Microsoft ain't the place to go to work anymore. Well, maybe something's wrong. And apparently all the cuts f that they actually made um, also kind of undermine a lot of the employees saying, well, you know what, I don't feel safe. My job might go away tomorrow. And um, that is difficult to have good people to work and to do, you know, amazing things in a company when the people there don't even know if next week they're going to be there and the people there just don't believe in a company anymore. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching. And uh, what do you think is happening with Microsoft? Are, go, are they lost? Are they, um, do they need to refocus? Uh, give me your opinion in the uh, description or in the comments below.